Okay, so I'm going to be installing the Seagate FireCuda external hard drive, the 8 terabyte version. I'm going to disconnect the older one, which is an Ovolution, and following the USB cable, it's following it here. I'm just going to disconnect this one. You can only have one external hard drive connected to the PS5 at any given time. And this one has the blue solid part away from me. And I'm going to connect the, the connector of the Fire Cuda. Similar USB connector. However, the, the other connector, the one that connects to the Fire Cuda itself in the back, it's kind of odd. I haven't seen this type of connector before. Uh, it's not a standard USB, but basically, I'll show that to you. It looks like this. It's got two pieces of the connector. Maybe one for power, additional power. I'm not sure what type of connector this is. But okay, so we're gonna be connecting this back. So this is connected back and then what I'm going to do is I'm first going to power on this uh, hard drive or maybe what I'll do is I'll connect it first and then I'll power it on. That's probably a better idea. Connect it to the USB at the back of the PS5. Okay, it's connected. This one doesn't have an on-off switch at the back, so the moment I plug it in into the AC, it's gonna be powered. Okay, so now I'm ready. And I'm gonna turn on the PS5. Okay, so the PS5 is powered on. OSD Fire Cuda is not yet powered on. So go to login to my profile. Then I go up. Go to settings, go to storage, and this will show just my internal PS5 hard drive. Uh, it's got about 30 gig free right now, and for USB external, it shows us nothing there. So, when I power this on. It should the PS5 should detect it it's probably not formatted for the PS5 so it might ask to format it so I'm going to about to plug it in okay let's see what happens yeah it does turn on with a red light let's see what happens in, in terms of the PS5 detecting it Looks like it has detected it. It's even detected it as a 
fire cuda so it knows what device this is it's the name and everything and it's got a default red light i suppose okay so it's asking me now if i want to format it as a ps5 and then uh, to play ps5 games that are in usb extended storage you need to copy them back to the console storage from your game library you can install ps4 games to usb extended storage and play them directly from there so for the ps4 i can actually play games directly from here and if you have a usb extended storage drive you're using on your ps4 you can also use it on your ps5 so it looks like the external storage is compatible between the ps4 and ps5 so I'm going to go ahead and so right now the default is PS5 and PS4 games get installed on the console's internal storage which is an SSD. I believe it's less than one terabyte storage so you run out of that space pretty quickly. Okay so we go back here and we want to format this now so we select yes I want to format it. Okay, and it says can't format this USB drive with USB supports super speed. Hmm, so it's not able to format it. Capacity of 250 gig to 8 terabyte maximum, and it's directly connected to your PS5. So I think I have all those. Uh, Oh, support super speed USB or faster. Maybe it could be because I'm connecting it to the front port that it thinks it say okay. For some reason it's only showing it's 206 MB. Hmm. I wonder why it's not 206 MB, it's 8 terabytes. Let's try this again. Oh, it doesn't recognize it. Okay, I'm going to read the manual or read to see what might be going on. 